surgery, we don't use cutting oil, but when we drill into the skull, we flush saline, a constant stream of just cool fluid just to protect the brain underneath. Now steel isn't alive, but today I want to find out if it still deserves that kind of care. I want to check as scientifically as I can. I want to know, does it protect the drill? I want to see what happens with cutting times. And I want to know how much does it really cost per hole. The steel plate itself is mild steel, 3 eighths of an inch. And for this test, we're using my small reliable drill press. RPM is 1000, it is on the higher end. We want to really deliver some friction on these bits. Downward pressure is uh, 33 pounds or 15 kilos. We're timing every single hole. Cutting oil comes from a cheap retail store. We are using the exact same amount for each hole drilled. So this is a cheap drill bit from a retail store in Sweden. It has 118 degrees and both are 5 16th of an inch. First five holes, we can see some damage on the edge. Uh, there is some chipping, but nothing major. Minimal damage, it does cut extremely well. It goes a lot faster and it really does look less damaged. What we get after 10 holes, you can see that it is chipped and the uh, there is some uh, damage. You can see the chips coming are much less uh, harmonized. Uh, I honestly feel it is more blunt than it actually looks because it, it doesn't bite as it did in the beginning. Drill time is still good but uh, there is a, a difference. So after 10 holes we've lost just a tiny bit of coating but the edge is holding up really really good. There is a huge difference uh, to be honest. Huge. Holes, it is a bit harder to push into the material. We see some increased chipping. Uh, there is damage, especially on the peripheral points of the drill bit. After 15 holes, I'm seeing some blue chips, so the friction is increasing. It is getting a bit more dull. Uh, the edge itself still looks pretty good. There's just some minor uh, damage on the peripheral parts of the tip. Uh, still a lot of coating intact and uh, still weighs better than without the cutting on. To be honest, it is holding up better than I thought it is. Uh, it's uh, 20 holes, this is a real stress test. Uh, I mean, of course, it is dulling uh, a lot. Uh, it feels more dull in the hand when you push the drill press. You can see the chips are different colored. Uh, there's high friction uh, to get out the chips, which causes a blue discoloration of some of the chips. Uh, you don't get the spiral nice looking ones. But I mean, still, it's, it is cutting at a decent speed for sure. All right, 20 holes. The tip still looks great. A lot of coating, minimal damage towards the edge. Chips, still some blue chips, but very few ones. All right, now we've got some really interesting data. So first here, you can see the drilling times without oil and with oil. And immediately you can see for each test, there was a huge difference. Now, if we compare them to chart, you can see the difference is even bigger. Now with the drilling without oil, I believe that you can see a spike before the metal itself gets really warm because you wear down the drill bit first and then as the metal gets warmer the drill time increases. We can see that with the trial with oil. After inspecting uh, the drill bits after 5, 10, 15 and 20 holes you can see a huge difference. Uh, there's a lot less wear on the drill bit where I have used oil. In the hand I could feel that it required a lot more pressure because the drill bit which I didn't combine with oil was getting more torn and I could feel that it was getting more blunt. I didn't feel that on the drill bit with the cutting oil. The drilling times is immensely faster. It's on average 41.5% faster uh, and that's that's a lot. If you're interested to see how this compares against the premium drill bit, uh, check out my other video. I'll put a link in the description. Now this is a lot faster and you can see that it was keeping that time all the way. It was almost increasing in speed towards the end. I think 
the metal piece was getting a bit warmer towards the end and that's why you can see a decrease in the total drill time but uh, overall it kept its sharpness really really good. Now these final charts is where things get really really interesting. This is where you could get bang for the buck. I mean I did a calculation just to know exactly which volume of cutting oil I used. Uh, you can see the chart here but basically calculating this the total cost per hole was 1.2 cents per hole. I mean, my mind is blown. I did not expect that. In my mind, I was using much more oil than I, I thought I did. And a whooping 1.2 cents, you could drill 80 holes before you get the cost of just one drill. I mean, that's amazing. So to summarize it, there's a lot less wear on the drill bit. You drill for 1.5% faster for the cost of 1.2 cents per hole. I mean, I'm just gonna let that sink in a little bit. Patient A, receiving no oil therapy. Diagnosis, acute thermal necrosis. Cause of death, prolonged friction. Time of death, hole 20. Drill bit receiving oil treatment. Diagnosis, mild work fatigue with signs of honorable wear. Prognosis, expected to survive hundreds of procedures. Treatment, regular oil therapy and rotational rehab. Note, patient was seen outperforming peers, possibly due to superior lubrication genetics. Make sure to subscribe for more.